Hey, what's up, guys? Camford Rusher here. It's update night, and the Avatar update has officially arrived. I've got everything for you, and then a massive locker change that people are not happy with. Stick around for that. So let's start off with, of course, Avatar. I've got things popping up in front of you. And let's start off, of course, with the Elements Event Pass. This is a half free pass, half uh, you purchase it if you want. You're going to probably want to purchase it because there's two skins attached, as we thought, but we now know what the other skin is. Two Ang skins and the final piece of the premium track, the final reward is shirtless Ang. Okay? I think it looks so good. I think both skins look so good. So it'll cost a thousand V-Bucks. There'll be a bunch of rewards. You see a bunch of the other uh, mini rewards there in front of you. And of course, you'll unlock the Ang, the first Ang skin there right when you purchase. And then, yeah, you'll complete quests and you'll unlock the, the shirtless guy by the end. And if you don't want to purchase, there is a free track as well. And that will give you the Appa Glider. I'm showing you that in game right now. It looks good. I'm a fan. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And then once that's done playing, I'll show you the two Lego styles here for the uh, event pass skins. The Ang styles. Yeah, looks good. Okay, we're going to take a look at all of the Avatar skins in game, starting with Ang, of course, but there are some item shop skins. And these item shop skins will be live right when downtime ends here uh, by the time most of you are watching this video. So, yeah, a scroll in three, you saw Katara, uh, Toph, Beifong, I'm probably saying that one wrong, and Zuko. The prices for these Zuko and Katara bundle will be 3,200 V Bucks. That's probably the best deal you can get from this. Character packs, if you do it in individually plus their uh, back bling their pickaxe is 2000 v bucks each and then there's the air flurry emote we'll check that out a bit later uh, that's for 500 v bucks thanks to everyone using code the camp and rusher if it's not me use someone type somebody in there i say one of the leakers from these videos and then the event pass and all the other avatar stuff we're going to look at mythics here in a second that'll be live friday 9 a.m eastern the 12th so you got to wait a couple days but i'm glad they're throwing the skins in right away there's lego variants for all these skins as well I, I got those up uh in game looks at least yeah i think they've hit on everything here i gotta choose what i'm gonna purchase for sure the event pass uh definitely one of the skins but comment down below what's your favorite let's talk about the new mythics we've got earth bending fire bending air bending everything we talked about since the start of the season has come true thankfully uh we'll show you some gameplay here from fnbr intel of what they look like what they sound like It's going to be a crazy few weeks of Fortnite. Like every anime collab when they bring a bunch of mythics in, I, I actually really enjoy it. I think it just switches things up completely from what we've been used to all season. This is supposed to go until May the 4th. And yes, that's an important day. That's also Star Wars Day. And they've got a lot of plans for that too. We're going to touch on that at the end of the video. That's what we know so far about Avatar without getting in-game yet. Of course, downtime's still going on while I'm filming this video. But we're going to look at the other new skins that aren't attached to this. And then the locker update and rocket racing here. So lots to talk about. Apollo is now in game we we saw this concept it's been we, we've known about the skin for six months to a year and i think they did good with it i almost liked the concept skin better uh, but that tends to happen sometimes the concept art just looks cooler i still think they did well with this and then we've got harpy Hayes. toshiro is in here as well and champion siren this should be related to fncs yes fncs skin so these will come out over the next couple of weeks but they're ready to go they're in the files expect them soon save your v bucks if if you want to purchase and here are all the new lego fortnite variants like every update now they keep adding more high quality lego styles to the skins their goal eventually is to have every single skin with a high quality detailed lego style and yeah i mean they're adding like 50 to 100 every single time so they're gonna get there i'm quickly gonna show you all the new emotes now including air flurry the new avatar emote
Well done. They look good. They look good. Okay, Lore, the yacht, as we've talked about, if you're a fan of the channel, has fled the island with Midas and his crew on board. It was fun. Thank you for bringing Flora's Lava to us. I had a blast with it. And I think we're going to see these guys again. They did put teaser text in that the crew is sailing off somewhere, dot, dot, dot. So I'm thinking they're going to come back and introduce some type of new game mode or event down the line. Let's hope. We, of course, have to touch on Rocket Race. Racing. This is season one, the official beginning of it, I guess. And if you're not a Rocket Racing fan, you still might want to play it for the free rewards. I've got the trailer going on in the background. There's going to be some Neon Rush kickoff quests. Okay, so this is separate from Ranked, it seems like. Aetherius wheels and then 13 different paint colors for them. This will be available for the entire season. And then there's going to be Ranked quests as well, available to the end of the season. Offer in-game rewards like the uh, Cypher Trail and different paint colors for it. So there is a reason to play if you just want to get some free stuff. They have improved some things. We talked about the ranked progression balancing. Basically, it's not going to be as grindy when you get up to those medium to higher ranks. I think that was a massive problem. They worked on matchmaking. Speedrun leaderboards have been reset, and there's going to be a ton of new maps. They've got a starter pack that's launched here with the season. The Fuse Car Body, five decals, a uh, Matias outfit, and you can see all the, the other stuff in there. So, yeah, I'm excited to, to try this out. So let's talk about the big complaint going on. Everyone's on Twitter right now talking about this and it's locker and shop changes. The shop changes are good. It's the locker. The locker and I guess the shop too is included here. They're dropping the old rarity and tag system for cosmetic quality, cosmetic rarity. It, the only thing you're going to see now color wise in your locker is for series like the icons and the gaming legends to help categorize. But that's it. So no more green, blue, gold it seems unnecessary i don't fully understand the point of this i think rarity with skins was uh, sometimes a reason people would pay those big amount of v bucks because it had that nice gold color behind it or whatever and to take that away without much reasoning it, it just seems a, a little pointless and then on top of that like we are still waiting on those locker ui changes like just to improve the quality of life less clicks uh, some of the things that they took away when they revamped the locker with the recent big locker update and they've commented saying we will be improving locker UI. So to get this first rather than maybe improve the locker UI and then hit us with kind of the unfortunate news, I, I just think they may have played this a little bit wrong. Some of the good news here uh, attached to item shop though is starting in late May 2024, each item in the shop now individually will show its rotation date out of the shop in the player's local time zone. So it's not going to be one one item shop refresh anymore you're going to see uh, you know all these different things in the shop uh, rotating in and out uh, on, on different times different days so I am a fan of that just to be more precise you know exactly when certain things are leaving and going but yeah thoughts on the rarities being removed basically other than just yeah gaming legends and icon other than that everything's gone everything's the same now it's just a blank background uh, people don't seem too happy let me know your thoughts and then the final thing i talked about may the 4th star wars day well we've got a little leak in the files here that's gonna point us in the direction they're taking it new fortnite time star wars skin rebel leia organa and there is a photo there but this isn't the actual photo we just have text but it's a reference of what this skin may end up being. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. It'll be sad because the Avatar event is ending. We'll also be going into our new season basically at that point, but we're going to have a massive Star Wars Day update collab happening to, I don't know, celebrate the end of, of the Avatar stuff. So there it is. That's the video. Touch that like button. Subscribe, of course. Cold the Camp and Rusher. Take care. Talk soon. Goodbye.